Hello and welcome to another episode of Historic Hindsight. I'm John, that's Tom, and today we're going to talk to you about historic relics. That's right, Johnny. Historic relics, historic tech. That's our first. I, if, if you don't know me personally, I love old, old shit. Uh, no. Whether that's well, history or technology or anything for that matter. Okay, but your technology stuff that you like that's old, you always pick the losing side of the technology. You're, you're like a yes. laser disc, 8-track, uh, yes, yeah, Zoom. I, I, have, I have both. And, there's, and that, Johnny. And that, that's what we're that's talking about today. That's our episode today. The Zoom. Is the Microsoft Zoom. So for you children at home that don't know what a Zoom is, it is an MP3 player. And I realize that as I'm saying MP3 player, you're like, what yeah. the hell oh, is what? A what? <laughs> <laughs> because a, speci of, a specific device to play only mp3 it, how yeah, ridiculous it, it, how ridiculous why would why would you <laughs> have that your phone is. could do that so why on earth would you do but that's exactly exactly what it is because there's this brief time from about the year 2000 on up to about 2010 there's that little decade yeah. there where a the smart, naughties you know, the naughties the the smartphone di didn't exist uh, yeah. And uh, and so if you wanted music on the go, you had two choices. You could break out your CD player uh, that was a portable mm -hmm. Hawkman CD player that would uh, skip it, if you shook it too hard. Oh, unless you got the anti-skip ones, and then they would still skip if you shook it too, too hard. hard. Yeah. Those yeah. were trash. That was the word. Like, I don't understand why they ever replaced tape players. Tape players don't skip breaks. on you. You know, they, they didn't. Yeah, I mean, the, I guess the, the ease of skipping tracks, but good God, like trying to, like they advertise, like you can run with this on you. No, you can. Absolutely. Yeah, you could absolutely. Could. So they came out with the MP3 player. Uh, oh, but this what is a godsend. This is before iPod, though, because iPod, you know, it came out in the scene in 2001. Before iPod even existed. What? The MP3 format existed, and, and, and mm -hmm. MP3 players actually existed that you could take on the go. In fact, there was even one that was a toy that had little cartridges that you hung on your keychain, and it was one song that you put in this little player that what? was also on a keychain. Yeah, there's. A, did you oh, ever do I'll this? The girls like had it. Oh, no. it, was, it was just uh -uh. pure shit. But it was like, and it was always like the pop songs, like Britney Spears, hit, "Hit Me Baby One More Time." That was yeah. on there. I remember what they had a Backstreet. Else would you put on there? They had Backstreet's back. All right. Na, 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 na. But, and there was just one song that you put in, and then you hit the play that's button. A, that was it. That's miraculous. Now uh, I remember I remember a big it was a big deal when um you could burn MP3 CDs mm -hmm, because that mm -hmm. allowed you not to put 10 to 20 songs on a on a CD but thousands of, of trongs that would be mislabeled, disorganized and impossible to find the track that you wanted. But and, you, and of course you had to have you a could specialized just go to shuffle uh, you had to have the special specialized MP3 player to, to CD, CD player. player yes yeah, yeah. yeah I got a 6 disc one put in the back of my Honda Civic so I mean your entire music was... collection was set yeah I had a uh, in my 96 Ford Escort I had a uh, an MP3 I was I was the cool kid cuz I did get oh, a CD had MP3, MP3 player, player. yeah oh, so we, man. we made our mix CDs but in any case this MP3 format was was around and it did exist and they started making digital players for it but the music industry was really mm -hmm. not too happy about mp3s when they first came out oh. because uh they weren't easy to copyright like you could copyright a cd pretty damn easily yeah uh and ensure that the only way you could get that music was by buying said cd they didn't even like sure. you sharing that with your friends uh, the mp3 enabled you to take that cd that was copyrighted and put it onto your computer and rip it onto your computer and now oh, it's ripping cds free music the best free music free music for everybody i remember we sat down for a couple of weeks and digitize my entire my entire parents li cd library so that they could have it on their oh god what was it windows media player wave or what uh yeah uh, it probably would have been windows media player unless it was yeah. two th unless it was mid 2000s then it could have very easily been either itunes no, or it could it have been or it could have been um um msn music no, this was yeah, it was Windows. Like, it was the black with the green. Yeah, yeah, fonts yeah, was, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your wave, your wave player or whatever it was mm, called. Yes. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So uh, Microsoft actually first got into the MP3 scenes by creating copyright software that they promptly slapped onto every piece of shit. I mean, low budget MP3 player on the market. Like this thing was labeled onto anything. It's like Microsoft supported. <laughs> Oh, just that they had the support for it. Yeah, like that they had the support for it, but they created a copyright so like. The Nobody music else. was was supposed to be protected so that you couldn't just 
share it universally. It was a but really it's weird just a sh- digital file that's super easy to share. I just give it to yeah. somebody else yeah. Yeah, on a still, jump drive yeah, or a still, CD. It and still can, was. And uh, they, didn't want, they didn't like that. Yeah, let alone about the fact that you know we had Napster it's, and LimeWire that say, was going on. Oh, that's not – I was going to say it's point. really weird that they invented Napster and, and put that out for everybody to get free access to free all access of these CDs. Yeah, um, it, if you wanted your uh, all of your songs to look like this – when you were trying to sort yeah i know an artist track uh, yeah <laughs> oh because <well>. that's, that's exactly <laughs> nothing how it came labeled correctly and half the things no, that you downloaded no. weren't and uh, and that we'll get we'll were. get there to the software end of uh, end of things about why why zune was a good idea and why i itunes was a good idea so in this time interim where microsoft slapping their name on everything saying hey mm-hmm. we support this this player supports our formatted mp3s yeah. that the music industry loved because they could be copyrighted even though again it wasn't really hard to get around those no. copyrights yeah it was a wild, it was a wasteland like but the wild in, west yeah the wild west in 2001 uh apple saves apple as a company by creating the uh, the the ipod which its innovation mm. was a stupid little wheel that scrolled that was it that was the it wasn't actually oh, no, 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 a no. better mp3 Tommy, Tommy, player Tommy, 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 Tommy. did you see how sexy that ipod was that was a very sexy device i mean come on oh the curves the colors it came in the finish and then you could just touch it you mean you mean you mean the colors white and then the finish that was stainless on the back in the minute yeah yeah, the second you touched the stainless on the back it was forever imprinted with your fingerprint that you could never get off no matter how hard you tried to clean it it was a it was an early product, but my goodness, what I mean, what did this Microsoft have hey, at that point? Anything that we did not have the Microsoft. Now fact, there were those like anything. at this point there were generic MP3 players that were like Microsoft kind of slapped the their name. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so, had so many of those. Yeah, so iTunes is created for for the iPod, and the iTunes takes over the whole music scene. So by 2004, pretty much what iTunes did is enabled you to take those audio files that were, you know, the unknown artist, track 01, and you could actually go into the software end of things and label it appropriately. You label it with the right artist, label it with the right album, label it with the right track number, and Mm -hmm. then, of course, your MP3 player, which it had to be iPod, their copyright protection would, would... The only thing that iTunes would work with was an ipod so when they came that? blasting and then of course huh. nobody and the only thing you could get an ipod on or the itunes program on at first was yeah. was was a mac which nobody fucking had a mac oh back then nobody had a mac no this not was not in like, 2000 not in 2000 no, no i think maybe a few schools still had the leftover bubble macs that were like red green purple yellow whatever um those boat yeah, anchor not, ones not yeah. back then like man nope. it was a yeah i don't I'm not even sure where their offerings were at that time, but it wasn't much. Yeah, iPod was a unique thing. iTunes worked really well because of the software Mm -hmm. end of things that made it work. So so it became super, super popular. By 2004, Microsoft decides, hey, we want to get in the software end of things too because we created our own copyright protection system and nobody really cared about the Microsoft media player or whatever the hell it was yeah. well they know so they, they saw the money printing machine that itunes was like yeah, well, yeah. people are paying 99 cents for a song deal, deal. all right so they <laughs> first start in 2004 creating the msn music msn you remember msn msn, MSN, what, what, MSN what is messenger MSN? microsoft so, microsoft network something like microsoft that yeah, yeah. something or something another? network service network or something <laughs> like that you had msn everything there's because they could yeah. try to compete with aol instant messenger and they failed at, at that yeah i think where they went wrong is they sound too much like a news organization like it doesn't think, sound like anywhere i'd go to get in my entertainment yeah i think at where microsoft went wrong is they were just trying to compete with things that they <laughs> They're trying to be cool and hip when Microsoft, and you're I just mean, not a cool and hip company. Do yourself a favor and watch the Microsoft ni- Windows 95 launch event oh, where all glorious. of the execs are dancing on stage. And oh, tell glorious. me that's a company that you would buy from to get the image of cool slapped on yeah. you. No, oh it's my God. Just, just glorious. Just glorious. So they're great. But they're three years late because iTunes already owns the entire market. People have already jumped into you know the iPod system. Microsoft doesn't have a specific media player that's anywhere near in the realm of competing with an iPod. So they, like, well, why I would mean, people they, choose? I, yeah, they're already so established. Yeah, and why would anybody choose MSN over iTunes. I mean, you can't use MSN for an iPod, so you right. just get iTunes. And Even if the, the software was better, which it kind of was, it didn't matter. So, no, that's subjective, I think. You, you, sure. Uh, so, uh, 
So Microsoft goes back to the drawing board after realizing that that didn't work with the whole copywriting thing and the whole coming up with their own shit. It wasn't really competing. So yeah. in, the, in, in 2006, they scrap the whole MSN thing and move to, uh, move to Zune Software. Uh, Zune. Now, why Zune? Zune? I have no idea what why the, the name is. What the hell does Zune mean? I don't know. But the Zune Software provided pretty much was just a re relabeling of the MSN but it did it did the same thing you could uh, you could uh, rename the tracks it's all you wanted but they also had you know um, a Zune subscription service that you could go to where you could get uh, your media where you could buy your media just like on iTunes you could go there buy digital albums you could buy uh, yeah. individual songs for 99 cents if you wanted but it also offered streaming johnny you could stream music for 14.99 a month you could have unlimited access to any of the music on the zoom network oh, no. that you wanted that was streaming but it's 2006 and streaming, they're too early they're too early nobody knows like nobody oh. the concept netflix exists but Netflix exists it's as a mail to your house DVD. Service, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Not a streaming service. They're trying to get XM, you know, oh, XF man. radio, you know, the satellite radio, is still trying to get off the wall, and nobody's buying into that because. Yeah, and they're doing this at the at a time when Napster, LimeWire, all that stuff was so accessible, accessible and yes. easy to get to, that. And this concept. It, I, it, it, yeah, they were too early because it's what Spotify is. It's what Spotify is, but before Spotify existed. But, and it's, yeah, it's Spot concept. And nobody's going to be like, I'm going to pay fourteen ninety nine a month. What the hell? Why would I? Fourteen, fifteen now, dollars they a tried, month they tried for to, music? Yeah, they tried to make it a little bit more appealing because at the end of the month, you got to keep 10 songs, any 10 songs. It could be a complete album if you wanted uh, for free in that subscription service, which is actually a really pretty decent deal. So basically, it's you're like, just paying uh, $5. It's basically making it a $5 a month. A subscription plan as opposed to a, and then a dollar per track 15. or whatever yeah, yeah. That, yeah and the then that, those are physical mp3s because like right now that you own even if you cancel I don't subscription have, you still own it i don't have music right now i i i had a huge I selection have, of music I that use i have to spotify yeah, I have a huge selection of music that I have to re-download for for this uh, because uh, the, I think you my, got one. I think you my bought, one, I bought one. one, but the one that I had it all on the computer that I had it all on is uh, is is cannot I can't find it for some reason. So <laughs> weird. Uh, anyways. So in, to pair that up with that, like I said, the streaming service didn't exist. It was a weird time in our history where we wanted to physically own things, even yeah. if that physically owning thing was a digital thing that like, you couldn't see right. or feel. We still wanted to own it. We didn't want people to like the whole Spotify thing where you're like, I like this band, so play music like this band. It was more like, I want to listen to this specific song. So damn it, let me let you can't tell me what I want to listen to or what I right. don't want to listen to. Like, things have completely changed. And to go along with that, they needed their own MP3 player. So what they did is they teamed up with Toshiba, which is one of the better competitors. And I, mm -hmm. and I use that term loosely because really there was no competitor to the iPod. But this was one of the better competitors. They took the Toshiba platform, the hardware, uh, and then you know the user interface. And they said, hey, let us be the cool Microsoft and create a cooler looking because the case looked kind of stupid and generic. They're like, we'll come up with a cooler looking case. Right, yeah. And Make we'll it sleek yeah. and sexy because Apple figured out real early on that sexy sells, even in technology and devices and, and, and you know, computer hardware. They sell on their sleek, good looking modern designs or whatever. Like, that's what they hang their hats on, and that's why people buy it. And this, Johnny, in this little box. Is what we get the Zune, a thirty gigabyte first that's the, okay, generation. That's yes. the first gen. This is the first gen. Does it have a screen? Uh, yes, it does. So uh, it comes out in two thousand and six. Are we and right I, off? Right off the bat. Is this an, is this an unboxing? I'm sorry. Is this an yeah, unboxing? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we're gonna unbox it. Yeah, a little bit too. So oh, it's a uh, fantastic. It it, it it it's a little late to the game because uh, in two thousand six, when this comes out, uh, I, iPod is already on their fifth generation. <laughs> Fifth? Fifth fifth generation. So like And Microsoft's second. like, we're gonna jump right in and hit the ground running with our yeah. Zune. With our Zune, because my iPod is already up to like the iPod class like touch, like you know, where you can watch movies and shit on it. Like Oh, uh, that's yeah. what um yeah. side note, that's what made the office a huge success because the video iPods yeah. came preloaded with a Christmas episode or something yeah. like that. And mm -hmm. then like people are like, Oh, I can stream TV. This is amazing. But inside is a Zoom box. You've got uh, you've got two. Uh, you got an outer protected shell that has to come off first. 
with with your nice little welcome to the social. That's right, oh. Johnny. Again, this is the, they're selling their streaming. You're in a wow. social. You're in a social network. Yeah, welcome. You're, in a social it's, network. It, you're you're going to have uh, sociability while you stick your headphones in and use the device that you got so that you didn't have to be social. Now, it, yes, but it did have Wi-Fi access. It did have access to other Zooms where you could okay. share music in between. We'll, we'll get into the, some of the details you back here. You can share music? Yeah. They yeah. let people do that? Yeah. I well, guess well, if you we'll, have we'll, a subscription yeah. service well, where we're gonna, downloading. We're going to get into that. Oh. In the back, you're you're going to sell me on this. I'm going to have a subscription gonna, by the gonna, time I'm done this. Well, <laughs> oh. Sure. oh. So in the uh, in the back of the case, you got uh, you got yourself you got yourself not only uh, the actual physical hard like the software disc. Oh, here. those are CDs. These are CD yeah, CD it's physical, ROMs. It's a physical CD ROM, which, by the way, my my modern computer that I have, my gaming computer doesn't doesn't even have a, a CD drive anymore because that's how far we've gone from tangible physical media of any kind. So I you bought get your, an external CD ROM drive uh, for my computer eight years ago because it didn't have a cd a cd drive in it of so course I had to get an external one because i thought people would use cds more than they yeah they do. yeah I they, 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 they definitely, I don't. Def definitely no. don't nope nope you definitely don't need it anymore everything's online and it's got an instruction manual like no, normal you know nothing 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 too Nothing too terribly fancy in the uh, in that end of the box, but there's also uh, there's also a uh, a whole. Ooh, this is where it's really fun. You get yourself a sleeve to protect ooh. your Zoom in. Uh, ooh, this is free. That, this so that's not just a cloth. Not, not that's just a, a microfiber. No, no, no. Cloth. That's a, a microfiber sleeve. Yeah, that goes. Yeah, the whole Zoom uh, that your whole Zoom goes into. Does that have so a little drawstring ties on it? Top? Is that it what I it does. That is a drawstring. I'll bet, tie I'll on bet the top. that includes yeah. all the way. Does it? I bet it. I bet it does. Well, I've never actually. Leave that out so you can. Okay, I can try it. I'll try it. Stick it in it. there. Ooh, dropping, dropping into my beer. Uh oh, this is millions, millions of dollars Tommy, worth of worth brand of tech new that tech I'm, I'm about here. ready to. By the way, when I did buy this, it was in fact a refurbished unit, brand new, that was sealed. When I looked at the date, well, uh, in two thousand. Sealed, refurbished, not sealed, I mean, refurbished. Yeah. Refurbished is not brand new. Well, it's okay, fine. Sealed, refurbished. <laughs> uh from 2007 so this was sitting in a box for just just a wee little bit before i got it uh, and which, it came with a full charge too i'm sure right uh no it did not i did have oh. to charge it for most i was actually at the point where i was a little I'm, concerned yeah, that the uh charged. that the battery wasn't completely and totally annihilated in it because uh it took it took a little bit to charge are, are you gonna riveting, uh, riveting, riveting. resell this as another refurbished one? Is that why you're repackaging uh, it? Like, uh, what, what I'm repackaging it. I'm repackaging it, Johnny, because it's gonna go to in this box. It. It's this. Uh, this is this gonna go. It's gonna be my children's inheritance, Johnny. We gotta be careful with this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be gonna worth. Hate you. This is gonna be worth tens of dollars someday. I'll it bet. Actually, it Not actually a chance. Isn't. In, inside the box, you've got the, we've got our unit itself here with this brilliant oh, man. Johnny with this brilliant pull tab that's so fucking short that you can't actually it doesn't actually really help you get the zoom out. Um, maybe it, if you didn't have such fat little fingers, maybe you could get to it. Uh, and if you pull on it too tight, like it'll rip the whole damn box. But uh, uh, well, inside, you don't want to do that because you know we have our glorious brick. Oh my 30 god! Look at unit. the size of that. Yeah, it that's came. Turn it sideways. How thick is that? That is, uh, it is five about inches good, thick. That's, that's a, well, that's Holy a, I would say cow. it's a. I say it's that's a good. An inch. That's an inch. It's a solid inch and, thick. And yeah, maybe an inch a, and a quarter. It is a. Uh, it is a unit. It is a Christmas. Brick. They came in glorious colors such as uh, pea shit brown. <laughs> they black. did brown. Yeah, they on did their brown. first release, They're, trying yeah. to make a sexy product. It was brown mm. with green highlights. Brown. Yeah, that was that was actually the first one I had before somebody stole it. Oh. Which, by the way, I preface that was they stole it in 2010, so I'm not entirely sure what they were stealing it for. No, I remember being flabbergasted that they stole it in 2000. I think I think they just it was dark and they thought it was an iPod. Is they my might have. only guess. It does uh, th now. This is one of the bad features. It does have this big circle disc here that you that think you can is a is a scroll yeah. like in yeah. It didn't it's a clicky? You have to actually. There's a oh. clicky. There's no. Uh, there's no oh, but, uh, it does work. Look at it that. does work. Yeah, lights yeah. up. Well, I've got music and stuff on it. You know, the the user interface still well. Not the very first model. The 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 current well the current current most up to date. Uh, 
uh, firmware is actually pretty. The user interface is pretty good. It's it's and what you would expect. And that firmware was updated in 2014, I assume. Mm-hmm. Right before they just completely what, ditched. Like, I, I think the last firmware update was like 2010 or 2011. <laughs> on the, mm. So, so they let that firmware go on for a while before they're they just did. Like, nah, we're you, you, you've got your very high quality uh, uh, headphones? Head, headphones. Yeah, they're, they're wired, wired, wired headphones, but they're magnetic. Beats by so Dre. They, yeah, they're I, be, well, they're Beats by Zune. <laughs> <laughs> they are just. They a, are recycled airplane headphones. Yes, folks. I. Which, which, <laughs> funny enough, that I, the airplanes did take this technology on it does have oh, this nice little w- warning that says loud music may damage your hearing it's like huh weird i hmm. wouldn't wouldn't have ever expected that loud here you know loud music would damage hearing and then of That's course shocking. you have your because this is the age of proprietary everything you have yourself a proprietary usb oh, charging God. cable and sync cable oh, you can't no. you you don't actually get a uh, they microsoft was cheap before being cheap was cool so nowadays you buy an electronic product it's not that uncommon to not get a charging brick with it you know like one of those bricks you put into the wall. right yeah they yeah they um, kind of stopped putting those in there they just give you yeah. a cord now right yeah they just give you and while microsoft beat them to the punch because in 2006 this is what you you got the well because I, I assume their idea is you you just you connect it to your to computer the, you, okay yeah you connect it to your computer, your computer like, why would you have to charge it any other time yeah you wouldn't need to charge it any other way so surely you're going to your docking station that you have for your laptop and then uh, attaching all of your peripherals uh, including your Zune, so that you could upload uh, the latest music. Yeah, right? the up- yeah, the most latest of music, uh, Johnny. This, this boy, look this at that. Zune fits like a glove. Fits really. like a. That, my that is a, that is a very <laughs> that is a very tight. I don't know why they bother oh, with this like roster because getting... there is no there is no room. I mean, all come on. That that tight. looks exactly like I I tried. So I went to tight. a wedding and tight, tried to tight. put on a suit for my wedding. And that's what it looked like when I tried to button my pants. I don't know if I'm going to get it. <laughs> no, that's it's in there now. That's that's what it's it a, is. You need an exacto a, knife to carve out the screen. A, Sorry. It's a per it's a permanent. Jesus. Well, that that works. <laughs> Good job, Microsoft. <laughs> so, this this brilliant product. What 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 made it better? What what did Microsoft think was going to actually make this this thing be able why, to why legitimately compete? It would work. Yeah. So what they did here is they created a, a 30 gigabyte uh, platform, which is what you you got your option of 30 gigabyte at first or 30. That can uh, gigab- hold thousands of songs. Uh, 30 That's gigabyte, amazing. which it could, it could. Uh, although at this time, um, uh, uh, iPod was offering like two gig versions, 30 gig versions, 80 gig versions. So yeah, they always had they had some, levels in. They had some in it, their offerings. It, Zune hadn't started with a, Microsoft hadn't started with a level. Oh my god, I just dropped it. Oh um, no. No, that's fine. It's like that. It's, it's like the one that Dwight uh, our uh, tests out for for Pam in the office. Yeah. Uh, chucks it against walls from Russia. <laughs> yeah, like, this it's is pretty much. It's yeah, like that. that's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much what we got here. So, uh, thirty gigabytes is is what they offered. They did offer a FM AM radio, which none of the other competitors, or the major oh. competitors, had. So you could actually legitimately listen to AM and FM radio. Oh, now, and uh, guys, kind of, that was relevant then. It, well, uh, yeah, people did still listen to radio. To the, radio. Um, um, the cool thing time. is, and this is before, like you know, that stupid Google. Hey, what is this song? And you hum that. The Hey Siri. This. Oh, uh, this song? oh, yeah. What's I can't remember what that's called. So yeah, I, Micro- yeah. yeah, Microsoft beat it to the punch because if you're listening to the radio and you liked the song on the radio, you could actually click on the song. And assuming you hooked up to a Wi-Fi network, uh, it would take you to the the the, the Zoom store and you could buy that song. Right there. Okay, that's so that's actually dope. that's pretty freaking dope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they like I said though they were kind of a bit late. Uh, they do have a half inch larger screen than the iPod Classic that was out, the fifth generation yep. iPod, which you think and half a inch is nothing. And a three and a half inch deeper screen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you think you sit there think to yourself, why does a half an inch matter? Well, this is your sc- this is a huge. <laughs> you, can, you can watch our a audience movie. is not sitting there wondering why movie. half an inch matters. Uh, <laughs> they get it. They get it. <laughs> they get it. Half an inch matters, especially in this age where that you could. I remember I downloaded the movie Wally on this when I first got it way back in the day, and uh, and I was like, oh my god, I can watch a whole movie on it. And I took it. To That's a, a bit plane, ironic, isn't it? And I watched the play. <laughs> it kind of is a little. <laughs> isn't that about uh, consumerism know. killing America? Yeah, I don't think I've ever well, seen it. No, something like that. Yeah, the consumerism made everybody fat. Yeah, they had this option where you could, like I said, this whole streaming music program, which was which was. 
way ahead of its time. I mean, that's what we all do. I don't. Nobody owns MP3s anymore. Nobody buys CDs anymore. We just stream the music on Pandora, yeah, you create your Spotify, playlist or whatever. Or whatever. Else, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, they, but nobody wanted it back in 2006. They well, also had I mean, this... they weren't going to pay because at this at that point we weren't uh sectional sectionalizing or section sectioning off, I don't know, compartmentalizing, there compartmentalizing there. Um yeah. our entertainment. No, we it, weren't. Though. It wasn't $5 here for, you know, Netflix, $10 here for Spotify, whatever, for Hulu and, you know, now it's Peacock and ESPN okay, Plus everything. and Disney yeah, Plus. Everything. I mean, it's insane. Yeah, so like nobody was willing to, you know, they were paying their hundred dollar cable packages. I don't want another fifteen dollars for music. Are you kidding nope. me? They 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 sure didn't. I downloaded a song one time when I was on my parents' cell phone plan, and good God, I thought that which, I bankrupt the family. Which they did at this time. I mean, smartphones didn't exist, but you did have flip phones that were able to play MP3s. Oh. Uh, the very uh, first flip phone I had was an LG, which e- even on the front of the face of the button, you had like play and pause and skip, and you could. Load. Yeah, I had a, I had a device called the Walkman. And it was a slider phone. Yeah, oh, it would, it would yeah, go like this, and it'd go like that, and then you'd have like the number pad or whatever. And uh, it was like supposed to be like music oriented or whatever. Yeah, and so the, like it had the play button, pause, all that, like hard dialed in. The, and, the, the problem uh, was that's where I bought my song and then got um, in big trouble. Yeah, yeah. The problem with those phones were is you you if you were lucky if you could get an album. Oh, <laughs> to the phone they had yeah. like three hundred meg. Meg hard drives, they were nothing. But oh, they didn't need that. In any case, the big thing, the big feature that it had, and I'm not joking with this name, the sharing the music that we talked about from from you know from Zoom right. to Zoom, you could hook up to Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could hook it up to Wi-Fi. You could share. The way that worked is you could share a song, and they could listen to it three times. Oh, I'm sorry. Before before it would either go away or they'd have to buy it. Like you'd get the option, like you could. That's not it sharing songs. Uh, no, that's and you know what that feature was called though, Johnny. It was it was called squirting. <laughs> Microsoft branded this. Crazy! You could you My could God. <laughs> you could squirt you could squirt at your friends three times. Three times you could squirt. You could squirt, squirt your friends three times. Well, you could they, squirt, they, and well, then they had no, to pay up. No, oh, you, you could squ- you squirt them as many times as you wanted. They just could only enjoy it three times. Oh. Per okay. song, per squirt, you got per, three. Per, so per, an individual squirt is me sending you a song. Song, yeah, yeah. That's a I squirt, squirted right. you. Then. Yes, yeah. And then you can then enjoy that squirt three times before you decide if you want to pay. To pay it, yeah. Uh, yeah, or, for or unlimited. Access uh, to that. So you'd own to, that squirt. To the result squirt, of yeah. the squirt. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Access to the result of it. Yep, yep. My yes, God. So, I wonder why um, it failed. <laughs> the name Jesus. didn't. The name didn't. They didn't help. Like I said, the awesome scroll world that didn't exist either, so that didn't help. And that's what people were complaining about. They were complaining. The, the system itself worked. The user interface was great. There was no complaints about the yeah, Zoom software. Yeah, it was six years too late. Uh, but it was it was kind of six years too late, and people didn't understand the whole streaming service thing of it. Um, now, it also had some um, some rushed issue. Like I said, Microsoft didn't actually develop this. This was already a pre-existing Toshiba they product just, that they, they just they re, it repackaged and, and rebranded and put it, it in brown and green brown and green and white and black and all kinds of fun stuff now uh the uh, the they in rushing of this they they also kind of rushed the coding so oh. we all you all remember microsoft Y2, uh, rushes the, coding. the computer company yeah rush the coding uh so you might remember y2k and if you don't remember y2k watch our oh, episode, episode on yeah, yeah. Well, i'll watch your episode on y2k and uh, uh, hey, uh spoiler alert Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Uh, well, Zune did have its own similar problem, uh, where the oh, Zune no. coders of the of the the firmware for the original Zune yeah. forgot that leap year was a thing. <gasps> oh no! And so they didn't code into the calendar so- side of, of of the programming that leap year was that, a thing. That February 29th was going to happen in so, whatever year. I don't know. What well, so what on leap de- years are. on December 31st, oh, uh, 2008. The year, the year, the first year of a, the of, of a leap year when the Zune came out, yeah. the Zune didn't know what to do on December thirty first because uh, it came a day 
or earlier than it was supposed to and it got confused and locked up and froze and you had two options you could either wait 24 hours for uh, so this, li- January. this bricked everybody's devices it, it bricked everybody's devices on december 31st for that day for that day okay. so until until january 1st when it was like oh it's january 1st now oh, I'm, I, get I figured it. It out <laughs> i get it uh it came back on or you would have to uh let the, the, keep the zoom on and just let it drain because it would it came up with just a zoom it happened to me it came up with just like the zoom logo and that yeah. was it and it wouldn't load anything and it just it just yeah froze. because it got caught in a loop a it, loop yeah it got confused and just like oh, i don't know what to do now so you could either let it drain all the way out and then recharge it and you're fine or uh and or why would that to, fix it i don't know or you had to wait a, a day and it would work the next day zoom said that they were going to release a firmware patch to fix it for the original zoom but they never got around to it because in 2008 they just released a whole another generation so they're like well I mean, why, yeah, why, why not? Just a, a curse, also, we probably won't exist during the next leap year, so. <laughs> well, yeah, they it. weren't. Because I, I, I experienced my issue with it in 2010's leap year and went, what the fuck? And then, uh, and then I looked up online yeah. uh, what the hell was going on with it, and I found out that, oh, yeah, Zoom 2K is a thing that actually crashed oh, shit. Oh, God. Um, now, their second generation, they did actually, Microsoft did do a good job of listening to people's criticisms of the software and people's criticisms of, uh, of the hardware, and they, they did update things continually. One of the big things that they did, which you cannot say about current uh, cell phone providers or current uh, 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 like iPods equivalent, you know, anything that Apple does, is every bit of hardware that they made. So if they made a second generation Zoom yeah. with new software, they made the original one compatible with that so you could create a firmware update so everything that that second generation Zoom could do on the software end of it. Again. Hey, the original wanna, generation could do it. You want to know why other companies aren't doing that? Tonight? So that you buy, you have to buy the next one. Yeah. Because otherwise if they did, they'd just go bankrupt. and it, Or it'd be a... Uh, a failed product that they would have to cancel because they're not making enough money off of it because everybody's just taking all the new goodies in a form of a firmware update. Yeah. Instead. But, in but case, did they at least give the Gen 2 a sexy little scroll wheel? You and- they did, Johnny, and and <laughs> I shit you not. They uh, they have a really fucking stupid name for it, too, because it's not a circle. It's not a square. It's a uh, squirkle. <laughs> a squirkle? It's a, it's a half square, half circle. Hey, can so I use looks- the squirkle to send a squirt? Yeah, you could use the squirkle to send a squirt. Is yes, that you, is you that how you do it? Do I have to... Do I have to, like... Go on the squircle. And, squircle, and really, yeah. Really get it so going they 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 totally stole the i you know the 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 iPods touch thing, but they couldn't do it in a circle because you know Apple patented all that shit. So they had to create oh, a different. So it, they had to create okay. a different shape, and so yeah. it's not a square because square. it's got rounded edges, but it's not a circle because yeah. uh, it's got the mm-hmm. sharp line. So it's, it's a squircle. It's a squircle. <laughs> it's a squircle used for squirting. Couldn't have, have called it like a and care. They, no, no, nothing, nothing like that. Now, uh, the first generation uh, Zoom wasn't necessarily a complete failure. They did sell 1.2 million units, which you know, oh that's my not goodness, too what's shabby. the population of the United States? Uh, you know, 330. Yeah, something like right. that. Cool. Um, and that that didn't even remotely scratch the 45 million iPod Touch sales that were during that time period yeah. and uh, also not to yeah. mention that in one like zoom was really happy when in total including the second generation they crossed the two million mark uh <laughs> and uh ipod's like and, every one of our generation crossed that within two months of going on uh it's even it's Sale. even better johnny <laughs> like, I, apple's like uh ipod does that in a month actually to be fair they do 3.5 million in a month so uh <laughs> Suck it. Their second generation did offer a four gigabyte and eighty gigabyte option, so you had you had a couple oh. couple better options there for for size at least. They do get it integrated with the Xbox 360, so if you ever wanted to listen to music on your Xbox 360, that was Zoom. Did software. it work well? I don't. Because I never I, tried it. I, I never remember tried it. Microsoft like trying to do like I put music onto my Xbox so that I could then in GTA San Andreas. Yeah, on the original I Xbox, think, yeah. 
uh, yeah. play music, a radio station based on my playlist. Yes, yeah. Like there was that option, and that was clunky and awful to use and hard to figure out. And and, and didn't work with didn't most work games. Great. Yeah, it didn't work with most games. Oh, it was like basically it worked for GTA. Yeah. I did I did that because I thought it would work with um, uh, Need for Speed Underground. Yes, right. And it did not work with Need for Speed Underground. Which, didn't have God, option. Need for Speed Underground 2, I think, is my favorite game of all time. We, uh, yeah, a was, future episode, we, we might talk about that. Future episode. Uh, I'll show they you would, cars that I built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The third generation, they did introduce games. Uh, it's just better hardware, but they also introduced games, which again, you can download those same games and play them on this original. And by games, I mean like solitaire snake. and snake and just stupid shit like that. Yeah, like, do, they, do they do their old like pinball game that they had on your 1998? Yeah, computer? pretty. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but they also made uh, developing you know software for it really difficult because they did the Microsoft thing and like made it proprietary and a closed system, and they wouldn't give like third party yep. developers like unlimited access to to the hardware. Yeah, so that yep. so that they had a bunch of crummy help. games that nobody wanted to play instead yeah. of just making it open source and allowing. They did. Other people to make uh, new games. By the That's third, cool. by the third generation, they would partner with Hueyport to allow Zunes to connect freely to their uh, ten thousand hotspots. Most of these locations were in a McDonald's, so if you could go into a McDonald's, you could freely hook up to their Wi-Fi, which they do for free now, anyways. Uh, and then you know you could get onto your Zune software network. Yeah. Somewhere. Another thing for if we have younger audiences, uh, Wi-Fi hotspots weren't usually free. Yeah, they're not. You could not, yeah. pay people to get them. Some businesses would offer them to you. Uh, hotels would give you them, like Wi-Fi for like fees, extra money. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't always just oh, if there's a place that has Wi-Fi, they have it open and are sharing it and giving it yeah. to me for yeah. free. That nope. didn't exist. That's why, like, when you go into bars, it'll say like free Wi-Fi on their chalkboard, and you're like, of course it's fucking free Wi-Fi. Well, they didn't always used to be, and they serve Dude. a lot of old folks. Didn't it didn't always used to be. Nope, you're all right. And their last generation, the fourth generation, Johnny, introduced HD radio. Ha! Definition radio. Which, by the way, the uh, I don't know if it's the equalizer. And this isn't me, like, because I like them because I'm a Microsoft person or whatever oh, okay. else like that. They legitimately did have better audio than, than any other MP3 player out there. The the equalizer in this thing does sound amazing. Even put, put some Beats by Dre in there now. Well, oh, man. Wi wired Beats by Dre because it's not Bluetooth. Bluetooth, but wired beats oh. by Dre and the headphone jack. <laughs> That's yeah, point five million headphone jack. Uh, it sounds, it does actually sound, uh, sound pretty. So amazing. HD, radio? Yeah, high definition radio. Ooh. Just. Radio that's high definition. Yeah, well, no, it's it's actual because this is uh, this is the early days. So, it, before, so, so this it was, was before. just them remixing and, and making no, it sound good. Uh, no, this is this is oh. the age before we get to high definition television. There is actually right. a, a thing called high definition radio, which um, which did exist better digital audio quality of the radio, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, wasn't really that huge of a selling point because again, most people aren't really listening to a radio on an MP3 player. And um, right, and it, it like it was like the same people transition. listening to radio just kind of don't care about the quality because you listen to the radio. If you want quality, you when, want to put your CD in. If if when high definition radio came out, <laughs> like they advertised it. It, it, it was like the seamless transition. Like you didn't know it really happened. Yeah. And, uh, and they're like advertising like AM radio now sounds like FM and FM radio now sounds like satellite. Right. Would have been kind of dope if AM radio did sound better when I listened to it. Uh, it if still sounds like absolute. Zoom. It still sounds like absolute garbage, though. Even now on yeah. modern cars, because oh, right. right, the technology has not changed. <laughs> like, no, so not really. No, it's still some dude in his house near a radio broadcasting tower yeah. talking into a microphone. Yeah, it? we'll have to do like AM radio episode of that at some point. I do have an old like do we? actual AM <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Anyways, right, we'll but see. but no matter how hard Johnny they tried, spoiler alert, Zoom just couldn't crack the top five popular MP3 players. Top five? The top five. They couldn't even crack the top Johnny, five. Johnny, name another MP3 player. I, I can't. I can't. I have Zoom and iPod. I don't even know another MP3 player. No idea. It Samsung, uh, maybe three. So on um, March, God. yeah, on March fifteenth, two thousand eleven. Five years, five years. They made it five years, mm -hmm. uh, which, to be fair, again, they're late because by two thousand eleven, you have the the iPhones out. You have smartphones yeah. that have come out. Windows is now producing their own smartphones. Yeah, MP three players are everybody. Out. Also, um, everybody transitions to, to. I think to I phones. figured out the other. Um, 
MP3 players. It was the iPod, the iPod uh, version two, the iPod. Yeah, uh, you could, yeah, three, you could be right. The you iPod right. Nano and the iPod Touch. Yeah, you could be you could be right on that one. So uh, on March fifteenth, two thousand eleven, they announced that they would be discontinuing the production of hardware and focus on their phones. Um, <laughs> which, uh, as you well know, well done there. That, yeah, that is, I'm sure the phones <laughs> were a good option. That didn't go bad at all either, uh, as they had lost a reported two hundred eighty nine million dollars on this project oh for Microsoft. So they God. never made it. Never, even though they sold over two million, <laughs> it cost them two hundred eighty nine million dollars. <laughs> Uh, which is sad because oh, this thing sold for like 250 oh, retail. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Oh my um, god! And they sold a million of them. A million of them. Uh, eventually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, obviously the phones didn't pan out either because Zune software itself was discontinued in June of 2012. Ah, shoot. Although not really because if you have an Xbox Series X or a PC at home. The uh, the Microsoft Music platform or what's called Xbox Music, it's, yeah, it's Zoom with a different name. It is oh, the well, exact, so it's not Zoom. Like you though. go no, but you go on to it's the same. They revived maybe they they like brought it's up their old code. But okay, Tommy, could you have it's gotten it in two thousand and sixteen? What Zoom or yeah, Xbox the software, Xbox Music? The Zoom software. Uh, I got it in twenty twenty. Oh, by the way, the, could you uh, have bought it new in a store? <laughs> <laughs> I will probably have to do a separate episode at some point on how I got this working on my modern computer. <laughs> and I had oh, to yeah, figure a, out how to update the firmware to it. So channel, that actually, yeah, that's a different entire different different. That's different, a, different. that's the now, channel that for three people that now might you also might want to do this with real them. quick. You might uh, you might <laughs> the third person doesn't want to talk about the old tech. You might wonder why the hell did I buy one of these in 2021, Johnny? Well, because I'm a 36 year old adult and I bought my first vehicle. <laughs> uh, Ever, where it was my choice, where I'm like, I want. Oh, what's happened? I was gonna say you always, bought cars before. You no, know, I, I I bought cars for for my wife or ex wife oh. before. I never bought myself a vehicle. Every vehicle I drove really? was either was either my spouse's ex vehicle or like my dad's ex vehicle. I never had a choice really? in anything I bought until like two weeks ago, and my car took a well, my van took a shit, uh, and then my car took a shit. Well, it didn't take a shit. I was just really embarrassed to drive it because it sounded like a NASCAR, and the whole front end was obliterated because my you daughter just not hit have a muffler. A, a tr well, probably. Well, my daughter hit a truck with it, so the whole front end is obliterated. So I'm driving around this piece of oh shit car God. that has no air conditioning, no muffler. The whole front end is torn to hell, and you know I sound <laughs> like that. That's what I sound that, like. That, that, that was it. That, that, hey, you drove by. I like, drove by. Uh, so <laughs> I finally bought myself, and I found, I tracked down, and I, I'm so proud of this. I've tracked a 2010 because I'm poor, so I can't afford anything new because I bought my wife a new 2019 Honda Pilot last year. So uh, ah, Honda Pilot. So nice she's got though. the new one. She yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice car. Mm -hmm. It's got like a, a degree of autopilot. I mean, it stays in the lane. Oh anyways, yeah, the lane, lane control does the lane follow control. thing too. Yeah, it does the follow yeah, thing. That's, that's it, nice. It, but it also flashes at me and tells me to hit the brakes, and I need to hold on to the wheel like it won't drive itself, <laughs> which is bullshit because it does drive itself. I mean, yeah, it, it stays either in drive lane. yourself or don't. It'll, like it stays in the middle lane. ground. It stays like, in the lane. It's good enough. I'm not here to babysit my car. I'm here no, to drive it or let it drive me. Yes, exactly. So I bought myself a 2010 Ford Explorer, and while messing with the features on the radio, I noticed this little sign that said Microsoft Sync, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So the, this truck actually came with all the uh, the software, in the, in, not software, but the, the, the manuals and shit. It actually had yeah. all the manuals in it still, because oh, whoever was owned it before was anal retentive. Uh, and, uh, and inside it said the Microsoft Sync system, and I opened up the Microsoft Sync system to the first page, and it says compatible with Microsoft Zoom. And I went, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Time to go buy now, a Microsoft hang on. <laughs> I need a Microsoft Zoom. I need so a Microsoft Zoom. I can talk about to my 2010 Ford Ex Bronco. Explorer, yeah, Explorer, yeah. Okay, this Explorer. Is a, they, not they, a Bronco. Not a Bronco. Bronco didn't. It looks, it looks like a four door. Uh, Bronco from the 90s is what this yeah. uh, this truck looks like. And on the inside, you know, it does it, it, it hooks up to a USB sync. It hooks up. Uh, I've got voice commands that work 100% flawlessly. Of I course. say, yeah. I say, I hit the voice command. It says, what do you want to do? I said, USB audio, play ironic. And um, it plays Running Man because it, um, w the feature that Microsoft has for you is that it plays what it, it, it you say what yeah. you want, but right. it knows better. It knows what you're really wanting to hear. Okay, but so what it just you did want thing. to hear was uh, Alana Morissette's ironic. 
Yeah, but it plays something else entirely. But it yes, plays yeah. um, Running Man by... Yeah. Where, 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 uh, who, no doubt, no doubt was running, w- running man or something like that. Um, running, I, I, running. It was running. The name of the song is running, and it's by uh, okay. no doubt. That's what it came up as played. Uh, I, don't know. I can uh, only ever think of spider web. So because because I bought this whole episode today, you can thank the fact that I'm poor and I'm a 36 year old man who finally bought his first vehicle, which is a 10 year old I, I mean, Ford the, Explorer. But well done there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done. 10 year old Ford Explorer that was compatible no with Zune. So I went. So I went. I gotta get a Zune. So for the last two weeks, I've, we've made this episode, and I've been finding music to download, uh, which is incredibly easy now. Just go to YouTube and download the audio files from YouTube. So easy, uh, and then uh, and then put it onto the software that I had to get well, to work. That seems seems like now we're PC doing and, we're crossing line. It seems I don't. I think you subscribe to their software that no longer exists and then that was that was hard that was i had to go to reddit is a savior downloaded it reddit is a savior for the if you're interested in zune in 2021 i will provide links to the reddit account where you can uh, download the software and the firmware updates for this and and the programming that you because i actually have to do programming to get microsoft to know to download the firmware from a server in reddit I'm sure it's that got lots of That seems like viruses. a waste of your time, Tommy. It was glorious, Johnny, because... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm talking can... about putting together this for anybody else. Yeah, well, yeah. For any... Uh, no... Comment if you give a shit. Comment if you give a shit. And comment <laughs> if you want to hear more weird tech. Because I do... I am sitting on a, a CED player, a laser disc. I've got an old, you know, AM radio that was, like, hand-built I'm... by my dad. i got a lot of cool old... Did you stutter? Or did you say CED? Yeah, player. CED, yeah, CED player, yeah, that's a, uh, a composite electronic a disc or something. Dysfunction? Could be, yeah, it could be that. It's a, it is basically, it is a literal record that plays movies, like legit record with needle that plays movies. It's wild. Free laser disc? Uh, no, unfortunately, competing, competing with, with laser disc. Yes. Jesus. So this is the one. This is the laser disc competitor. That did worse than laser. The, the laser, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, tune in next time, folks. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to watch that one, let us know. We'll tune in. And this is the whole reason I bought a Microsoft Zune in 2021 because my new to me Ford Explorer comes with Microsoft Sync compatible with the Zune, so now I can listen to all my music on flawless voice commands. USB, please say a command. Play track. I feel like a woman. Say one after the tone for play track feel your love. Say two after the tone for play track you owe me nothing. Say three after the tone for play track take me away alive. Say four after the tone for play track Louie Louie. Just perfection. That's it for this week in Historic Hindsight. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And join us next week when we talk about the Battle of the Bunnies.